Hey, welcome to what is Alva's Awakening. I think it's Alva's. Could be Alva's. So, what is this game? Well, this is a Metroidvania 2D game with a retro feel by Eden Pixels. Elden Pixels, not Eden. Um, uh, yeah, so you can play this with both a keyboard and controller. It has a ton of languages, just wanted to show this. Even Russian, and that's as far as it goes. And you know, it has all these cool things. Alright, sh should I show you the game then? It has three save slots, as most classic games do, I guess. Some of them add more. So, we're a bit at the start of the game, didn't want to show you the start, because, no, it's the start of the game. <laughs> but we got the map, and we have to find the key to the boss. So as you can see, you unlock stuff. This here is a save point, as you can see on the top, game saved, you can jump, you can attack, and you can cast a spell, if, if I remember how it goes. There we go, it's up and attack. That's the spell we have for now, and we unlocked it in true Metroidvania fashion. So if you look at the map, we want to go up there because there's things that we haven't explored yet. This is one of those games where if you touch the enemy, you get damaged. Ah, I think I died here last time, yeah. Okay, not to worry. No. So you can use the block to help us a bit and get damaged by the spikes. <laughs> so you can see on the top right the amount of HP that we have. That was really bad of me. Ah, I died in this room, I remember now. Uh... I think this will help. Oh no, it, it, it isn't. So you can only have one square. At least with this spell. Okay. So now how the hell do we cross this? See, this is, this is a huge puzzle that I can't complete. And I don't think we can jump. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what do we show the game? Just die at the start. To get the gist of it. It also counts your lives, I think. Not here, though. You can see this game isn't only fighting mobs and progressing, you actually have some puzzles to complete. Fortunately, I am really bad at them, but this is the only path we have. So let's try going there. This guy down here is really annoying to stir it. Good thing is this blocks everything. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Right, we can't do it like this. If we push this here... Okay. And then... Hmm, but we can't push it on top, can we? Push this one here. <laughs> Why does it, did it have to start with a puzzle? Oh, right, 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 hold on. By the way, name of the main character is Zoe. I think this will work. There we go. Forgot to say that. And we're on a journey now oh. to save the world, as always. Alright, we have a new enemy here. Probably you won't die in one hit. I feel like there's a secret area up there, but you can't access it. Yeah, obviously he shoots. Yep, it does not die in one hit. Two hits. Reasonable enough. That's what I wanted to do. Ow, okay. So these platforms that are cracked, they fall after a certain time. Oh look, we reached the save point, nice. Aim saved and restore our HP. So the good thing about this game is you can see on the left and on the right, it tells you where you can go. 
If you've seen any blue orbs lying around, they are very powerful and if you see any, you should try to fight them. The more you have, the more powerful you become when fighting the protectors. There is also treasure hidden somewhere in this dungeon, you should really try to find it before you leave. Okay, so what I mean with the stars is, if you go here... Oh. Well, let's go back. Actually, there was a blue orb there. But I can show you what I mean here anyway. See, imagine you entered this room from the top. You'd see the stars here and you'd know there was a save point here. That's useful. No, in case you're with 1 HP, just like I was. Ooh. I do not have the key for the boss, though. Ah, we're missing something there. I see. Okay. Oh, alright. Boss time. Hello. How dare you enter these chambers? Why have you come to this land to destroy us? We have done nothing to you. You should show Viker your divine honor and respect. He is the only true deity. But enough talk, have at you. Oh, it's a scary spider. And it sends more scary spiders. Okay. We should use this. Hmm, I don't think that's the correct way to fight the boss. Oh, we have the... Um, the HP on the, on the left. Should we try and complete that part of the map before we leave? Apparently it will make us stronger when fighting the bosses, so... Ow. Yeah, let's just rush a bit, it's okay. think we can go back. We can't. So it, we, we do have to fight the boss if we want to go back there. Alright then. That'll be easy enough. Careful with this guy. Yeah, just... Oh, just let him... Don't jump on top of him, this isn't Super Mario. Let's restart our HP and let's try and fight the boss. Maybe we can't fight the boss yet. There's something there that we can't get to. Let's go to the boss then. Skip all the dialogue. Oh, it does it for us. Nice. Good job, him. Right, you can crouch, don't forget that. <laughs> Ooh, landed on the spikes, goddammit, hold on. I think we'll be able to do anything here. Ah, don't, don't land on the spider though, that's bad for you. Um. Okay, nice. Ah. Oh, don't destroy the block. There we go. Okay, okay. Two HP remaining. That spider almost touched us. Careful with it, it's it's it box. Why was that so hard to say? I touched it! No, we were so close. Shall we try again? Death count 9. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, it saved us right before the boss, which is nice. Shall beat the boss, then explore the rest of the floor, and maybe try to find the other area. Find, not find, explore. If you look on the top left, you can see that we can have up to 3 spells. So that's going to be fun. Oh, we can hit it twice. There's speedrun tactics. Nice. Just be careful not to hit it. Okay. Or to jump on it, I mean. It's going 
to shoot twice now. At the same time, I mean. That thing destroys blocks. I'm using the analog stick. I shouldn't really be using the, the D-pad. There you go. But yeah, you can play this with both controller and keyboard and mouse, and it's seamless. And my phone just vibrated. Sorry about that. There we go. We did it. And he got an achievement that I didn't check because I was putting my phone on to not disturb. Um, can we leave without dying? Ugh, there we go. Hey, we're back here. Nice. Okay, so we have to explore down there. We got something cool. I have no idea what it does, but we got it. We should have used the block here. Don't die now. I wonder if we have to fight the boss again if we die. Okay. So we want to go down there. Um, why didn't we go there? Nice time. Ooh. I wonder if we can kill enemies by crushing them. No, no he cannot. It just gets destroyed. We're going to die here, yep. <laughs> yes, yes, that was my bad. I'm sorry. Well, the girl went away. And he can't reach that yet. I have no idea what that does, but... We have a f flaming orb. Maybe it's part of the story that I'm missing. Do not have to fight the boss again, thankfully. You can also see on the top left the time... Left for our spell to recharge. <sighs> Ooh, that was almost too big of a jump. There we go. I know why we didn't check this place. Spooky. Maybe it would have helped us actually. It doesn't seem like it's too much of a concern apart from jumping into skeletons and losing all your HP. Thankfully they are one hit kill. Oh, there's something here that we cannot get yet, at least. Secret walls? No, okay. Just coming here was a waste of time, but there's still some squares left to explore. Just like in Castlevania, you want to explore all the map squares. Careful here. Yeah, I should really be using the D-pad. It's way easier to control. There we go, just not that used to it. Okay, let's go to this god for second place. Oh, ouch. Yeah, just just jump into that. And we didn't save. I don't think you can wrap or oh, warp. Actually you can. You can warp. So you can come back to this later. You can export that if you get the game yourself. I think we die on water. Yeah. Okay, never mind, we have to export the old palace. <laughs> Or just go up there, I guess. Anyway, we have to we have to leave this place, so let's do this journey again. This time do not go through the floating platforms. I wonder how I made this jump without the block last time. Jumps are really scary, I don't like them at all. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we want to fall and go to the right. Be careful with that guy. Oh, landed on the spikes anyway. And see what we have down here. Oh, it's a green button. And we didn't manage to jump. And no, hold on. I don't want the screen to change because that's annoying. 
Ah, sure, whatever. Ooh. Okay, what does this do? Nothing, because we need a block here. Oh, it opens that door. Okay. So we have this door open. There is a safe room to our right. Okay. I wonder if there's anything down there or if we die. Because the map makes it look like there's something down there, doesn't it? And yeah, let's save so we're closer to our point of death. And let's see what happens if we fall. Aha! Sneaky! But you can't get into that. <laughs> if we didn't have the cube, we'd be stuck down here forever. Um. Oh! This is a secret wall. I see, okay. I wonder if you missed any secret walls. There's no way to tell either. Interesting. No, I think I checked already where this guy is, but it looks like a perfect place for a secret wall, doesn't it? Like here or something. <laughs> but it isn't, unfortunately. Let's leave this place and go to the village. And see if we're missing anything. Uh, I don't know. Probably want to go through here. Oh, this is an annoying place. Yeah, you know what? Just damage boost through it. <laughs> Aha! Okay, so there is a thing we missed there. Um, would you kindly? Thank you. Ah, really? Ah, no, my feet! That's cool because we saved close by. Okay. I wonder how we get into that door. Maybe by getting all the orbs. Let's see. First of all, we need to be careful with the spikes that are going to appear here. We needn't fight that guy because we already concluded that there aren't... Oh no, any secret entrances down there. This is bad, this is really bad. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for being bad at jumping. We can do this jump though. No need for blocks. Yeah, we, we can do that. And I'm going to get hit twice. Okay. That's okay. This guy isn't going to hit us. <laughs> yeah, this is spooky. Ooh. Okay. Shoot here, please. No, no, here, here. Okay. Uh, run, 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 run. <laughs> okay, we have six of them. And there is a safe point up there, but we can't get to it. Just don't die here, please. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, what did I get myself into? Wait a minute, you can't leave through here. How do we get up there? Am I stuck here forever? I don't see a way to... I can't wrap around, warp, warp around. Um, well, this is going to be nice. Um, okay, close one. Maybe we could get on top there. Oh, I, I dislike this greatly. Can we? Jump while falling, no. No, the fuck are we supposed to do this? Just slightly press the button, okay. <laughs> okay, is there a save room here? No, there isn't, but... 
there is one to the right. So you kinda want to go up there, so... Isn't this entertaining gameplay? I mean, the game is entertaining, I'm just doing ba a bad job at it. And we can't go up there, so we have to go to the right. Ugh. Maybe go to the top. Just don't get it by the skeleton. Okay. Oh, I... I greatly dislike this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, we have six. Never mind then. It counts. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. How do we leave this place then? I want to leave. Go through the boss and go for the ripe. Not ripe, the warp. <laughs> There's no turret here, surprisingly enough. Oh no, there is at the top. The very top. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. Go to the boss and go all the way to the left after that. Ah, shit. Okay, sorry for swearing. Yeah, we can't do this. We need a block. And I died. I, I could stop it here, but I won't show you the town. I could also edit it, but editing is for the weak. Everyone knows that. You can't do this. We've done it before, we just have to learn our lessons. There we go. And just put a block there and jump. We could also put a block on the spikes after getting hit, I guess. There we go. I wonder if there's a secret entrance here. No, and we got hit thanks to that. Nice, I love these turrets. My favorite. All right, it's this room. How did we do this last time? Honestly, can't remember. Um. Hold on, I'm trying to think. How did we do this last time? Oh, I see a way we could do it. No, I do not. Actually, I do. Hold on. No, I do not. Um... Oh, no, I do. I think. No, I do not. Ah, shit. <laughs> Okay, I think this should work. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that's the correct way to do it, though. <laughs> anyway, we're back here. We know the trick here is to just jump here. There we go. I can't believe we're having to repeat this again. Just because I wanted to explore all the squares. At least you can see that there's a ton of stuff to do in the game. To be fair, I didn't do it in the most of correct orders. We're here again, let's save. Okay, now we want to go back to the town so we can end the video. Because we can't traverse the water there. So we have to go back to the town and see what we have to do. I can barely see that block, honestly. Makes it like this an impossible jump. Okay. So I probably want to go through here. Yeah. There we go. 
go. Soundtrack is quite nice too. Oh, there's an orb we missed there. We didn't tap the block yet, that's why. Hey, we're out of town! Amazing! The green gemstone is VT. We'll go back to town after that. Do we have the green gemstone? I think we do. So this here is is the warp thingy. Obviously I can only warp to, you know, where we are, which is Forsaken Valley, which you can see on top. See? <laughs> Let us go back though. It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, there are things to the left that they haven't searched. Interesting. Maybe we couldn't at the time? Oh, hello, Mr. Plant Guy. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff here that we haven't searched. Let's get the blue orb, though. Let us go on our merry way. Because I don't want to explore that place yet. And we can just fall here without problems. Let us go up. This here says left void tower, right town of Westwood. There we go. It's interesting that the town of Westwood is to the right, which is usually the east, you know. Hello, Mr. Bearded Guy. Now that you have the green gemstone, you can continue to the east. There you find the shrine of Sea Monk. Nice. Nothing here for us. Just spent like 20 minutes trying to clear a dungeon that I had previously cleared, but... Right, that there is a grumpy cat. Oh, he looks happy. Yeah, thanks, dude. This does not survive water, right? Yeah, okay, just making sure. There we go. Ooh. Hmm, this guy looks mean. Hello, and this well next to me can refill your water, but first you need to find something to carry it in. Huh, interesting. Oh, we can't get that. Yeah, so... There's a ton of stuff that will allow us to jump higher. I guess, Central Halva. They're going to make us use the block here, a ton. Oh, nice jump, okay. And the sun changed. Okay, but yeah, that will be Alva's Awakening. Oh, that guy's mean. Let me stay here. That will be Alva's Awakening. If you want to see the rest of the story, you can get the game. Links to purchase the game are in the description for various platforms. I think it's only on PC and Switch, this one. But who knows in the future? Uh, yeah, that was Alva's Awakening, developed by... Uh, it's not Hidden, Heldon. <laughs> Interactive. Yeah, uh, see you next time then. Bye-bye.